Rodriguez facing Clint Sadowski. Oh, got it. High Swung on and belted. That's a salamity. 6-1 Mariners, top seventh. 7-3 seven, Mariners, Melvin Nieves facing Ed, Edwin Hurtado. Base is loaded. Struck him out swinging, ending the inning. He struck out the side, did Hurtado. Bottom of the seventh, two on two outs for Edgar Martinez. And he takes Mike Myers in his hockey mask. Deep to left, a three-run shot, 10-3 Mariners. Next batter, Jay Buhner. Jay Buhner. 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 That's gone. It's third homer of the years, back-to-back -back homers for the Mariners. And they win an 11-3 franchise record, eight-game wins. And this is not what he had in mind. Clear. And here is Gary Sheffield, deep to left, and Glavin knew it the minute it left the bat. His sixth, one nothing fish. 2 nothing top of four, Glavin and Charles Johnson. Clear again, left center field, this time with a man aboard. Two-run shot, fish up for love. Five love, five love against Glavin in the sixth. This time it's Chris Hammond to Ed Giovanola. Not quite a jackaroo, but just short. Off the wall, Walton scores 5-1. Marlins 5-3, bottom of eight. They're coming back. Jay Bowell to Ch Powell to Chipper Jones. Way to go with the pitch, but Jeff Conine is into leather. It remains 5-3 fish. Same score, bottom of nine. Rob Nen to Ryan Klesko. Curveball, he swings and misses. Second pitch. Curveball, he swings and misses. Third. If it works, don't change it. He didn't. And the fish, as we call them affectionately, are a winner 5-3, to three, and that makes two consecutive starts in which Tom Glavin has not finished the sixth inning. Rob Nen gets the save after blowing a two-run lead the night before. Mark Lemke was a scratch with a pulled hammy. First place Expos hosting Philly. Don't reverse that language. Bottom of three, runner at third, David Segui at the plate batting lefty. And who says you have to pull every ball? Segui goes with the pitch down the third baseline. Base knock, Lansing scores three to two. Bottom of fifth, he's up again. This time he's batting righty. And again, he goes with the pitch. That's a double. Lansing again aboard and again scoring five to two Expos, which takes us to the top of eight. Todd Zeal. Dial eight. Long distance call. Left field, solo shot, six to five Expos. That was a fastball, top of ninth, he's up again. That is a curveball, and it makes a little difference. Zeal, this time left field, and this one a three-run Jones, and the Phillies on top of that and more when it nine to eight the final as they come back from a... The first, Leo Gomez takes William Van Landingham down the line. Matt Williams can't handle it. Then Barry Bonds can't handle it, and then Barry's feet can't handle it. Scott Service scores all the way from first. Five nothing Cubs after one. The famous Wrigley wins. Barry Bonds really doesn't need it, but he takes advantage of it. Off Frank Castillo, that winds up on Sheffield Avenue. Giants down 5-3. They would later tie the game, then down 6-5. Sean Barton tries the pickoff move. Bad move. J.R. Phillips can't handle it. Ryan Sandberg scores as the Cubs would. Turk Wendell struck out three of the five batters he faced for a second save. William, don't call me Bill Van Lanningham. A key to the Giants' rotation. If there is one, gave up 11 hits over five and change. He's corners on the corners. Dwayne Hosey grounded a first. Rafi Palmero has Will Cordero hung up, but taking a page out of the Red Sox book, he throws the ball away. Cordero scores. Now we're tied at two. Top of four now. Two men aboard. Cordero line single to left off of Mike Messina, not Mu Cena. O'Leary and Stanley score. Boston has a 6-3 lead. Wait a minute. Boston has a lead. The plot thickens. Jesse Orozco to move on. Hey, Mo. Two-run shot opposite field. Second of the year for Hey, Mo. 9-4 at that juncture. It would end up being 10-7. And mercifully, the streak is over for the Red Sox, said manager Kevin Kennedy with a wry smile. Hooray. Now we're 3-12. and Somebody buy a cake. Mike Stanley goes three for four. 14 hits and 10 runs were both season highs. Brewers looking for four straight against the Royals. No score. Top of two. Greg Vaughn taking the 2-0 pitch as in Vaughn gone. Left center field. We measured right around 400 feet. 1-0 Brewers. Vaughn sixth. Top of three now. 2-0 Brewers. Runners second and third. Kevin Seitzer. Three balls and a strike. Standing in and smacking the ground ball. Keith Lockhart's got That's it. Throws out Seitzer at first. Chucky, Scar on the, Chucky Carr on the move, but Bob Hamlin throws to second. It's a 5-3-4 double play. Three love. Top of six. Seitzer again. This time about as far from a double play as you can get. Two men aboard. Three men in. Deep to center and gone. Seitzer's fifth. Six to one. Steve Sparks gets Bob Hamlin to go to his room. And with that, the Brewers take the game. 8-2. Steve Sparks avenging...
Justin Benitez leaves with arm problems. Enter Jesse Orozco. Juan Gonzalez, a double off Orozco. Two runs score. It's 12-7 Texas. Mickey Tetterton with drive and Clark with a sack fly. Then Dean Palmer takes Orozco deep. His second homer of the game. 15-7 Rangers. And Davey Johnson and Edison Rollades, wouldn't you? Two more men get on board, and Kevin Elster with a single, 16-7. Daryl Hamilton would walk. Dave Valley singles, another run in, 17-7. Johnson's desperate. He gets reserve infielder Manny Alexander up in the pen. Meantime, Will Clark walks again. Johnson's seen enough. In comes Alexander, who walks four batters and gives up a sack fly, then facing Kevin Elster. The Peace de Resistance, a grand slam. That would end the bleeding 26 to 7. Rangers, Ripken and the O's lose the worst game in team history. The game lasted four hours, 15 minutes, one. Joe Carter, one of the few holdovers from the championship teams, jacks the fastball to left center for the homer. Carter's first of two. And it's 2 nothing Jays. Bobby Ayala in the ninth to Carlos Delgado. No question about this one. The deep blast to right for the three run shot. Jays dominate 10-4. After going 11 games without hitting a home run, Carter has four home runs in his last five games. He also raised his average to 299 and extended his hitting streak to six games. Tigers Angels opening a three-game set. Bottom of the fourth, Tim Tigers leading 1-0. Scott Aldridge facing Tim Wallach. Wallach There's takes the fastball, sends it deep to right field. And it is. It's out of there. The solo shot, Wallach's 250th career home run. Game tied at one. Two on Angels in the seventh. After a Wallach RBI There's single, a runner on first. Mark Parrott goes opposite on field off of Mark Langston. A two-run homer. Parrott's third of the year, 3-2 Tigers. Game tied now, three all in the ninth. Mike, Mike Myers, Myers in relief for the Tigers, facing Don Slott with runners on first and second. Slott singles back up the middle. Scores pinch runner Nick Schofield with a winning run. Angels win it 4-3. to three. Langston tossed a complete game for the win, allowing three runs and seven hits. He walked four and struck out five en route to his 80th career complete game and 33rd with the Angels. A's first game of the season at Oakland Coliseum, host on the White Sox, bottom of the six, Sox up 2-1. Wilson Alvarez having some arm trouble. He left the game with tendinitis. Alvarez, five and a third innings pitched and four hits allowed. Kirk McCaskill, his replacement. Scott Grotius. That's why he wears a hard hat. 3-2 A's. It was 3-2 in the seventh. Ray Durham on first. John Briscoe to Frank Thomas. And the big hurt sends it deep to left center. Also visiting the construction site. 4-3 Sox. Thomas is up 1-0. Bottom of the eighth. Mark Brissolanak takes John Lieber deep to left. The solo shot. Game tied at one. Brissolanak now has hit in 11 straight games. 1-1. Bottom of the ninth. David Segui leading off. Segui goes deep to left. It's the game winner off Dan Plesak, Sagi's first home run of the season, Expo's win.